Hi guys, so today I want to show you how to do a Facebook page profile audit. So if you want to check the checklist, you can go to our slide to check all of the checklists. We have already put them together into one slide there. So first thing first that you want to do is to actually go to your Facebook page. How do you do that? You can actually just search for your Facebook page name here, or you can also go from the home page of your Facebook. It should have another shortcut to your uh, Facebook page. Okay. So first thing first, when you have your Facebook page, you can see here you have the name and then you have the username. For the username, because I already put it here, so I have it ready. But if you just started your page, most probably you don't have any username yet. So you need to actually just click on it. So usually there will be a button here if you haven't put any username. So you can just click on it and then you can just put your username on it. If, for example, they won't let you to change any username, for example, they uh, somehow it's show an error message, it means that you are not uh, active enough in your Facebook page. So what you want to do is actually to just post something on your Facebook page first. So that's the username. But if you still cannot do any username changing, it means that uh, you need to wait for probably at least like three months once you start your Facebook page because they need like some time to just make sure that you are actually a legit Facebook page. Okay, so that's on the username. If you want to change your page name, for example, what you can do is actually just to go to edit page info here. And then afterwards, you can change your name here and you can also change your username here. Okay, So on name and username is pretty much done after you have changed it. The second thing that you want to do is, I will go back to my homepage here, is to actually put a cover fo photo and also a profile photo here. So let me just upload my profile photo. How do you do it is just to click on this camera button here. And then click on edit profile picture and then click on upload photo. So it will open your folder basically. So I will upload my profile picture here. Okay, for example, this is my profile picture. If I don't want, I can just cancel it and then I can always upload another photo. Okay. So, for example, this is the correct photo that I want. So, I'm still uploading it. Okay, so this is the photo that I want. I can try to drag to reposition or I can also zoom in and zoom out. So, for example, if I want to zoom out and drag, maybe something like this, then it's okay. So, you can also put a description here so it will actually appear on your timeline as kind of like a post so for example if i put description pass this is a description example that if i click save it will automatically post into your timeline as well so people can actually see that you actually just change your profile photo so you can see here this is going to be a normal post. Then what you want to do next is to actually upload your cover photo. So what you can do is to click on this edit button here and then click on upload photos. Okay, so I will upload my photos. You can also drag and reposition your photos once your photo is uploaded. Okay, so you can see here there's this drag to reposition, so you can actually do that. Just to make sure that your photo is actually on frame, inside the frame of your cover photo. Okay, after you're done, you can click save changes. Alright, after you're done that, you have done name, username, cover photo, and profile photo. Now it's time to actually edit your call to action. So I actually have already put my call to action here. It's called shop. But if you don't have it, it should have a plus edit, uh, sorry, plus CTA button here. You can just click on it and then you can also click on edit button. And then they will show you all of the available buttons that you can do with Facebook page. For example, every, for example, 
call now, you can actually just put uh, the phone number. So all of this button has different kind of action that people can take. So it's completely up to you what kind of button that you want to put. Okay, for mine, I will just put on shop on my website. For example, this is going to be optional. If you don't have it, then don't worry. Okay, so we just click on this, and then I can put my website here. So I will just click cancel because I already put my CTA button here. Then the next one is going to be description. So description and information is going to be in your about. So if you cannot find this about page here you can actually just go to edit page info and then go to this description here as well okay so on this one i will just paste my description here oh, wait this is my description okay then after that they will ask you for your categories so i believe once you get your facebook page creation done they actually already ask for your categories. So for example, this is not the categories that you want. You need to add another one first before you can delete it. So for example, this is going to be automotive store, for example. And I, I can delete design and fashion previously. Okay, so that's on the categories. And then afterwards, you can put your contact number, like your phone number, your WhatsApp number, your email, your website of your page, your location, city, location, and etc. So once you got, you have all of it done. So all of these are actually kind of like optional. So if you don't put any, it should work, even though they're still empty. So it should be okay. But I will still suggest you to actually just fill up anything that you can fill. For example, like phone number, WhatsApp phone number, email, and etc. So they can contact you. Location as well, so they can actually uh, visit you. For example, if you have a physical shop. Then you have the service area as well. This one is more into kind of like the delivery, for example. Then hours. You can also put the hours that you are opening. If you are... Uh, temporarily close or operating you can actually just put it here and then on here you can also have another uh, information that you can put for example if you have privacy policy you can put it here what is your impression what is your products additional information and this is going to be your qr code that you can share to your friends and family so they will be directed to your page then you can also put a price range if you want and if you have another account, for example, if you have Instagram account, you can actually just put your account username here. So people can actually just click and then they will be into directed into your Instagram. So you have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and etc. Okay. You can also add more. For example, if I have Pinterest, if I have WhatsApp, and etc., I can put it here as well. So if I don't want any, I can just click uh, X. After I done, I can just click on this button here. Oh, sorry, that's not the button. Okay, but basically you don't need to actually do anything. Uh, they will be auto saved into your Facebook page. So after you're done, you can just click on the home page here. Okay, then if you go to about, you can actually see the description that has been saved. All right, so after you're done with your about, Right. The next thing that you want to do is actually to plan this arrangement of tab. So this arrangement of tab is going to be different from one page to another. So you can actually just change that. How do you want to change it? For example, I don't want these photos. I want to take off. You can actually just click on more and then click on tabs. So when you click on edit tabs here, they will show you all of the templates that you can actually put. So for right now, I have home, about, photos, reviews, event, and etc. For example, I don't want any photos on it, then I can actually just drag it. So the thing about this template, sorry, the thing about these tabs is they will only show around four to five uh, tabs onto your profile. So home is going to be the first one, it's going to be the default one, you cannot change. About is going to be the second one usually, but if you want to change it, you can also drag it, for example, if you don't want it, then if you have reviews, you can actually put it here. If you have event also, you can put it here. For example, if I want to put 
my videos, I can actually just drag up here after about and then it will automatically save into my Facebook profile. So all of these, all of these tabs, you can actually just try to customize it. Any tabs that you want, you can actually try to drag it into your first four or five tabs up here. Okay, so after you're done, you can actually just uh, go back to your page. So you can actually just click on this. And then afterwards, you can actually see here you get home, about, videos, review, and more. The more button will also put uh, everything after these four tabs here. Okay, so basically that's all of the checklists on your Facebook profile audit checklist.